That's a great fish, that one, Rob. Might be ten pound that one. Well, it's my first live match of this. I'm going to call it season because the river fishing has stopped. The chub fishing is over. It's time to get back into the matches, and we're heading to Makings Fishery today, Lake Four and Lake Three. I think it'll be close to a sellout. As he limits it to 21, so I'm looking forward to that. Should be good fishing. It's a little bit. It's a little bit rainy actually. We've got tall on the rain on the uh, Spotify the third eye. Great track. Going to see them in May. Can't wait. Um, but without further ado, let's get to the fishery. Let's get a peg drawn and see what we can do. I think it's going to be all about pellet fishing today on both the pole, maybe a little method feeder, but we'll talk you through the tactics when we get drawn because it's different on the Sioux Lake. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to makings, let's get a peg drawn out, and we'll see you very soon. How are we doing? Come on, John. Yeah. Here he is. Here he is. The champ. <laughs> All right, how are you? You're facing that one. Come on then, John. I think I've clipped up already. <laughs> B5. Is that Lake 4, is it? Yeah, you're on the end of the island on Lake. We're drawn and we're on peg 5 on Lake 4. Looks nice, got a lovely little island chuck. So I've set up a 10 footer for that. A little 30 gram banjo. I'm going to put the old faithful pepper around me on that. I like fishing the pole on this lake and the wind's sort of blowing down to this chap here. Fins up there on the good pegs. They're from that tree up, they're generally the deep water where the fish are, but it looks alright to me here. And so many rigs. It's quite deep, it's like a top kit and short four. I've got let me just this down. Look at this beauty. Half a gram. I've got black zip little pole pot on the end two number eights and then all the way down at the bottom I've got just a strung string of number eights so that's one two three four six number eights there quite a long up because it's quite clear this lake and I think they've, they've watched the bait down so we've got a nice longish up length and a size 16 camasel animal feeder then for five meters I've got exactly the same setup same float bit smaller there, that 1.4 black again three and breaks but it's 60 70 inches deep there whatever that translates to same shotting pattern hopefully catch on top kit and free and then i've got this like not much edge fishy on this lake but the back of this tree here lovely little buffer between me and the next bloke so i reckon there might be a one late on down there and i've just set up a 4 by 14 fury for that green zip so yeah that's what we've got set up, three pole rigs, one rod. Hopefully spend three hours on the rod, getting towed in hopefully. And then um, we'll see what we can do on the pole. But I'm just going to feed six mils, oh, look, oh, simplest bait tray ever. Got eight mil pellets, six mil pellets and some micros. And then I've got pepper out for the hook with the old punch. And that is it, simple as that. No need to complicate things. It's, uh, I believe it's a pellet water this, so. Yeah, let's get on it and see if we can put together a few fish. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? First match back. Yeah, can't wait. Here he is, look. The man of the moment, the man of the hour. The camera. Hey, watch him, you I know. What do you reckon, <laughs> Finn? Yeah, you're all right here, ain't you? You're all right, aren't you? On nine, look. Well, look at you, um, yeah, going on form last week. Good, should be good, shouldn't it, today? You've got made here, ain't you? Do you reckon? Do that yeah, one rod job. One rod? <laughs> <laughs> Done so far, it's not long pole. And then hopefully catch a load on that feeder. Give it a look. I'll dig my pellets and then let them drain off. I really like that. I'm just going to ping a few over the top with my little trusty mate. Get on with it. See what we catch. That'll let me. I can always just ping up here just to get my range. Oh, just 
pretty much got them out. It's gonna be good. Yeah. There's some meat on the hook. My favourite. Kicked off the match using a 30 gram medium Preston banjo loaded with fishery micros with that lovely piece of punch pepperami. It's my favourite bait, I absolutely love it. Um, just use a, either a 6mm or an 8mm punch and the width of the pepperami I just cut it in half and it becomes a lovely little hook bait. Right. Let's get on it. response and expected. with me pepper around I just like to punch a few out in advance it's not too many and I'm just keeping this little shallow tray in it tiny bit of water just to keep it so it doesn't dry out smells great Notice I fish in line feeder rather than elasticated. Something that I've been doing a lot this winter whenever I've been pleasure fishing and it's I like it.
don't know what's in the end in a minute. Hmm? The bike has been quick, so it's only remembering. It's so important to keep them swims topped up because you just never know when you're going to need them. Might as well have another cup of tea then. We are 48 minutes in. We've had those two cars and a couple of little liners, but not a lot of anything really. Trucking right up against the island. I've seen Finn catch one F1, and I've seen the chap next to him catch two F1s, and the chap to my right said one F1. I've not seen anything else really caught. Oh, there's a car opposite, actually. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's not electric, and I just heard from Sam on the other lake, and they're not catching loads on there neither, so... I guess it's just a case of uh, being patient and taking our time today. There's a fun seems to be off the island.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Hey, Pais, I thought I was wondering. Let me take a run up. So unfortunately there was a bit of machinery noise at this point in the match where they're fixing the roads but obviously they need to do the repairs um, but it was time for a quick go on the pole and I've been feeding it most of the day just pinging a few and cupping a few in um, so all I was going to do is just pot in three or four pellets and actually ping another one over the top too because of the face wind it was a case of flicking the rig out past sort of using the dolly butt as like a bit of extra reach so that if the float did drift towards me I could kind of hold it where I'd fed the pellets good tip that if you've got a dolly butt always fish just short and then use the dolly butt to sort of push past it but unfortunately no more bites well no bites at all on the on the pole not even a not even a wiggle So it's back out on the feeder. But one thing I noticed was every time I rested the feeder, be it come off the pole, uh, be it come off it and try the pole, whatever, I'd often get a quick bite as if, because they weren't really up for it at the moment, the, just giving it a rest for 10 or 15 minutes actually encouraged a few fish to gather again around that island. So although the pole wasn't producing any fish, it was probably getting me a few extra bites on the feeder because every time I rested it, I caught a little, I caught a fish quick, or maybe two fish quick, so it was, it was well worth doing. As is always the case at makings, chucking nice and tight is so important. The islands have got boards around the, um, around the islands, and if you can get it nice and tight to that island, then you're going to catch more fish. Even at this time of year, when it's still a little bit cold, getting it as tight as you can is so important. It's a bit tricky. There was actually an odd overhanging little bush on this peg, which is a bit frustrating. And actually what happened there, there was a, definitely a fish trailing a rig around and every night I had a little spell where it was just swimming through my line all the time. I actually hooked the line there and actually got it out. It's actually attached to my rig there. So at least I got it out of the way. But as I was saying, you need to get as tight as you can to the iron. And even if it means keep adding a foot on, you'll see me in this match adding a, a foot onto my clip every now and again. It's really important.
it was fishing so hard that it was just there was just so little point in even other than resting my line I just didn't feel like coming off this the method was just ticking me along lovely um, and what was noticeable was bites were coming quick by that I mean I would chuck in and I'd generally get my bites in two minutes or under in fact when I actually just left the feeder out there and and just sat on a cast it never seemed to ever materialize into a bite or anything so being quite busy and chucking regular was was definitely important on the day unfortunately you can't just keep doing that otherwise you'll spook all the fish or they're just like they weren't actually up for the feed on this day so i think that's why resting it with an occasional look on the pole actually worked really well Okay, so we are, we've got three out, just under three, so I was 50 left, 20 to one, and I've got about 30 pound, 31 pound, six carp and, or seven carp and two F1s and a bream, no, one F1 and two bream, all on the feeder, I had one little go on the pole, but Finn just started catching on the pole, he's got two on the pole, as predicted, is that peg where Rob had the big weight from last week, short on the pole and he's just started catching them so I think he'll end up being a runaway leader to be honest with you but apart from that it's very very slow but people are just starting to get odd bites on the pole which is very encouraging so if I can just tickle along on this feeder for another 20 minutes and I'm going to try the pole again I've just topped it up, I've been pinging all, all day and I've just topped it up not fed my margin yet I'm going to leave that till late on, see what happens on the other two pole lines. But yeah, pretty happy with how it's going so far. It's fishing, t it's fishing tough, but we're, we're doing okay.
I've noticed on this stage, I've seen it a few times, but the rest is quite good. I'm coming up and trying something else. What that is, the wire is. Some sort of thing. Look at that! Look at that! It's a cool guy. Yeah, I've got a question for you. Go on. Is there any fish in here? I've <laughs> seen you catch a roach. I've had a roach. Uh, well, a huge little, roach. Two little skimmers. Yep. One skimmer, a pound and a half, and I've had a, a three pound carp. Oh, yeah. I, I, I will lay my rig in. Hmm. And uh, looked down to pick my cat pole up. The pole got dragged down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're really weird, aren't they? Sam says on that lake, there's just big balls of them swimming around, not feeding. No. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing a fish move or anything. No, has anyone caught anything? I've got seven and two bream and a F1. You can't catch anything. Yeah, they're all here. <laughs> I've got seven carp for twenty-seven pound, I reckon. I reckon you've got more than the rest of the lake put together, yeah. Nah, Finn's got more than that. Has he? Yeah, he's had a few big hippos now, hasn't he? No. He's, he's got one and an F1 when Buzz come round. Yeah, he's got two, two. No, he's got three. Sorry now. I wouldn't get a six gram float over there, would I? Six gram. No. Ooh. Got one, Rob. Yeah. What balls went on the feeder? No, I just chucked it in, it went after 30 seconds again. All my bites have been quick, if it just sit there, nothing happened. Yeah, yeah mate. Yeah, mate. this float off. Chuck it against the road. There we go. Beautiful five pound common though. Yeah. Immaculate, they call this the immaculate common. I don't think he's the expert. There we go, another pellet top up. We get another 38 mils out. Don't want to waste them, dear Rob. See, quick bite again, Rob. Do you feed it, Rob? That is the question. Oh, that's a great fish, that one, Rob. Might be ten pound that one. Ten pound. Right there. What, what am I doing sitting here? <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we've got an hour and a half left and it's hard I've got. Forty five pound ish. Which might be winning this lake. So it's, it's not fishing great. I thought Finn was gonna run away with it and he might still do because he caught a few of um, on a short pole, but it's, uh, it's just up there. I spoke to Rob Button on the other side, and he's having a bit of a gripper. Less than ten pound, so I think we're doing all right. Everything's on the feeder. 
they're not coming to bait uh, which is a bit odd I thought I'd have had a bite on the pole by now but with it fishing so hard I'm just going to stick on this until something changes really because I could waste a lot of time chucking that on the pole when I could be getting a bite on this so let's just uh, we'll plug away a bit longer on this and, and just hope for a, that it just keeps going around every so often we're in the last bit of the match now and I really expected the pole to come good but nobody's catching even Finn who's on the arguably best peg on the lake's not really catching a lot just an odd big fish and um the pole just didn't produce again but I kept wanting to try it just to just to rest this line as you notice the wind died down and the fish started behaving peculiarly you've seen an odd one swimming around and stuff like that and that was definitely what was going on on this day because it was happening on the other lake too like the fish were swimming around not really interested in feeding so I just feel like the fish just did not want to be in that deeper water this lake's quite deep and I just don't think they're on the bottom in that deeper water in hindsight actually setting a waggler up and chucking it at the island would have been good but to be honest I forgot my waggers I left them in the van um, but I did consider going and getting them halfway through because I think if I'd have just chucked a waggler at that island I'd have probably caught an odd fish felt like the edge might be my best chance of a fish just because of that sh it was shallower water and my float did kind of move once but <sighs> didn't ever feel like there's many fish there I'm sure if I just sat and sat and sat I'd have probably caught one eventually down that edge but it was just it, I felt like the match was going to be really tight between me and Finn um, so I didn't want to risk it so I gave that uh, gave my feeder a quick rest try down the edge but it wasn't long before I was chucking it over there and at this point there's 10 minutes to go so I needed at least another fish really I felt it was a good cast that was just it nice and tight and as predicted after a little rest by fishing down the edge we got another one
towards the end. Not weighed in yet, but it's gone alright. I've had about 15 or 16 smallish car, a couple of better ones. Probably got 56, 57 pound. Might be enough to win this lake, so we'll see once we've weighed in. But enjoyable day. Not even a. I had one little indication down the edge, which I think might have been a bite. Or well, certainly a liner. Not even a wiggle on any of the other pole swims, so everything on the method with that pepper army update. Yeah, it seems to want to come to any feed, so we'll get weighed in, packed up, and uh, let you know how we got on. Well, we won. <laughs> and it was £77, which really really shocked actually. I didn't think I had as much as that, sorry, a bit of a, bit of a dry setup going on. I didn't expect that, £77, enough to win the match. Uh, Daz Milne was second or lake free with 75 pound and then finn was just up for me he had 65 pounds so uh, nice to get back into action and back on the winners uh winners table it was very nice uh very in, much an enjoyable day although very weird like they just fish haven't come to bait like the chucked that little banjo out and just picked fish off really and every time i rested it i seemed to get one um yeah just a weird day. I've not had a single like sign on the pole. Maybe when I went down the edge, I got a little wiggle, but pff, never nothing really happened. And it was the same for everyone. But um, yeah, nice to win, and uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>